Welcome to Food Fun, sponsored by Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and From Scratch. I'm your host, Matt Dominguez. We're coming to you today from the From Scratch facilities located at 401 Victoria Avenue. So what we do is we take a recipe from the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook and we make it with a special guest. Today's guest will be Dion Amon from From Scratch and number 97 from Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Mr. John Chick. Now we're gonna be making mac and cheese and a chicken mushroom spinach lasagna. The drinks will be white grape spritzers and a coffee mocha cooler. So let's meet our special guest today. All right, so we're here now with John Chick. Chick, what are we doing today? We get to cook macaroni and cheese and we're gonna put on six different varieties. Okay. You know, we got all kinds of toppings here and I'm looking forward to actually getting to have a say what goes on. Oh, you're excited, you're all excited. Right. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's get some aprons on and we'll get right to it. Sounds good. Let's go. So we've got our six individual plates of uh, macaroni here and we're gonna just go at it. We're gonna do six individual different type of varieties of uh, mac and cheese. John, let's get to it. All right, so we completed our, our six different varieties of mac and cheese. They're in the oven right now. Uh, about 20 minutes uh, to let it bake. And uh, while, that, while we're doing that, me and John, we're gonna have a quick interview. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so we're sitting down here with uh, John Chick. Uh, just, uh, hey, we're just gonna have a convo, me and you. All right, so <clears throat> not very many people know that you're part of a large family. Seven kids, seven kids. So. Uh, did you always have that as an idea? You wanted a large family, or, or was it something you and Catherine kind of went over? Um, we, we always talked jokingly that one at a time, but we're always open to it. You know, we just uh, felt that, uh, you know, we give it uh, to God and let Him do with it what He wants. Okay. All right. So, well, you know, a lot of people don't know that you, uh, or, or they may actually know you have type 1 diabetes. So, how does that, how does that affect you in your, your daily life and as an athlete? Yeah. Um, it's, like a lot of diseases, it's a 24 hour, uh, so I always got to take care of it. It's from checking your blood sugar levels uh, several times a day, watching what you eat, trying to figure out how many carbs are in these these meals. Uh, so there's a lot of guess and check, um, watching your exercise, all of that affects your blood sugar. Emotions affect it. So you're getting nervous and excited for a game, it can raise your uh, adrenaline, it can raise your blood sugar, or have the reverse effect. So it's it's 24 seven and you know, it's just a matter of learning those patterns, learning how it affects you. And you know, there's a lot of guides and things out there to help people and kids. But the sad truth is for every person that deals with that, it is different. And, uh, and so that's why it's near and dear to my heart. Not so much that I deal with it. Would I love to be cured? Absolutely. Um, but the, the biggest concern I have is I was a kid. I was 14 when I was diagnosed, mm -hmm. and it was still hard. Wow. Uh, most kids are diagnosed much younger than that. So how do you give back? Uh, 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 are you associated with any programs or anything? Yeah, uh, I try to stay involved in, in any ways I can. I've uh, been always heavily involved with JDRF. What is JDRF? Uh, Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. So they raise a lot of money that goes toward research and to finding cures for the disease, but also uh, put money towards things like insulin pumps, uh, the care of the disease. So in the meantime, we're looking for a cure, but until a cure, we can continue to improve the care that is uh, out there. Absolutely. And uh, so JDRF has, has done tremendous things um, in the last decade, two decades, things like the insulin pump, and, and that technology continues to improve with glucose sensoring uh, units that, I mean, I can have 24 hour glucose. Yeah. Uh, monitoring and, uh, and and you know there's all kinds of great companies out there. I do a lot of work with Medtronic, uh, who who makes the pump I wear. But there are many companies out there that do wonderful work. Um, Sun Life, uh, who is also a big sponsor for the CFL, their their big promotion this year was Sun Life Kick Diabetes, and so every kick uh, went to donating toward JDRF. But as well, their their huge promotion uh, that I've been trying to. Uh, kick lately was uh, Sun Life Kick Diabetes and it's uh, through Twitter. Gotcha. So anytime Sun Life Kick Diabetes is tweeted. Okay, the that's the tweet, yeah, that's yeah. the word. Or retweeted. Because you're a big Twitter fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. Anytime that is tweeted, they donate a dollar. So they, and um, 
I think up to this point we're in the 30s, 30 thousandths, but they will donate it to 60 thousand. So we need more people out there to, uh, to get on Twitter and Please. promote this. Please. Yeah? Uh, I think they're only going until the end of the month, uh, until after the Great Cup. So the more people we can get doing that, it's just another going to JDRF again. And, and it's for young people that it is helping out. It is going to not only raise awareness, but uh, th those funds go to help treat and prevent and cure the disease. Uh, another association is uh, Canadian Diabetes Association. What's your website, John? Uh, JohnChick97.com. And again, a lot of times people come to, to the website asking questions with their kid who has diabetes, or however it may be. If, if I can give back, because uh, I know what it was like to be a kid, and again, I was only, I was 14, so I missed a lot of those younger years that I can't imagine. Mm -hmm. And so that uh, anything we can do to help uh, those little ones is, I'm all for. Oh, awesome, awesome. All right, so we've been friends since you got up here, okay? Uh, you, you're, you're a part of the community, you're, part, you're all in, people know who you are, but because of that, I get to challenge you, all right? There's a little segment on Jimmy Fallon that they do yeah. called Egg Russian Roulette, John. I challenge you, do you accept Egg Russian Roulette? Yes. He's in. Stay tuned. Egg Russian Roulette with me and John Chick. All right, I've uh, challenged John to a, a game of Eggs Roulette, which you've seen on the, the Jimmy Fallon show. Um, basically, there are, there are 12 eggs. Eight of them are hard-boiled. Four of them are raw. And uh, the first person to crack two raw um, eggs on their head is the loser. Um, you're the guest, John, so we're gonna allow you to go first. <laughs> all right, all right, you made it, you made it. That was hard boiled. Uh. Uh, <laughs> another hard boil. Any more? Uh, right. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Right. <laughs> the odds are going down, man. I like this one here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it sounded like <laughs> that. Was just your head that sounded like that? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Okay, I got to avoid Cuz you know immediately as you pick it up, like You. <laughs> You're good. I'm dripping, dude. Like. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Two left. Two left. Right, one, one. We're, we're, one to one, dude. One to one. <sighs> oh! <laughs> yeah. You're the winner. You know You're the winner. I didn't know. No. I didn't know. You yeah. win. You win. <laughs> John Chick, winner, egg roulette. Okay, John, we're gonna start with our taste testing. Uh, how about you start with your meat lovers uh, mac, mac and cheese there? Get in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my pesto one. Alright. Alright. Taste test, what do you got there? How's it tasting? Yeah. That is, it is good. Awesome. Did you put enough bacon in it or no? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I found a new way to make macaroni and cheese, that's for sure. All right, so the next one you made was, um, you made chili macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. That's this one right here. Uh, I made Greek. Here's my fat and the black olives. I'm going to get in some of this. I just want to put it out there that uh, generally, I'm not a black olives guy, but this kind of actually looks like it matches, so we'll taste that. What do you got there? This is the 
chili. Was it hot chili or what, what kind of chili was it? I didn't look. Uh, <laughs> I like your honesty though. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. It's, what do you got there? Awesome. I can tell you. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Let's do. Mm -hmm. All right, so <clears throat> what was your last one that you had that you created? Uh, smoky apple. Smoky apple wood? Yeah. And you actually put bacon in that too, right? I did. <laughs> Okay. It smelled this, kind of the same, so I thought maybe it would go. Okay, so that's right there. I did a veggie one, so here's my veggie right here. My veggie one had the uh, the broccoli and the uh, the carrots in there. Get a quick uh, quick scoop. So six different varieties of macaroni and cheese made by me and John Chick, meat lover. <laughs> 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 We're gonna to put together a white grape spritzer. It's actually in page 99. Uh, the recipe calls for two cups of white wine and two cups of grape. So uh, we're gonna do some of that. Chick, let's go. Right. Now we've already hit one person with that. The mayor actually hit somebody yeah. with that. Yes, that's a true story. So maybe we can go two for two. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> All right, get, get, get some pour, get some pour in here. Yeah, that's good. We should be good right there. Get you in here. So, white grape spritzer, that's yours. Awesome. We'll get in here, here's mine. Good, good taste. Cheers. Cheers. That's pretty good, that's good, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're back with the owner from scratch, Miss uh, Dion Amon. Dion, what do we have here? So today we have uh, the chicken uh, mushroom spinach lasagna. Sounds good. And uh, yeah, we've had this on our menu probably for about five years now. Okay. And uh, you can um, order it when you're ordering your meals online. Um, usually it's not available in our fridge because we actually sell more than we can make. People will order it before we've made the next batch, so it's very popular. Um, it's got, uh, so it's a layer of, um, the mushrooms are cooked down in like a sage butter, and then we cook our spinach and onion together, and then we cook the, it's all um, white chicken breast meat that we'll, we'll cook ahead of time, and then um, we layer it with matza, parmesan cheese, the spinach layer, the mushrooms. I'm already in love, that sounds yeah. great. And the sauce is like a white bechamel sauce, and it's got like a, a wonderful nutmeg, so it just blends really well, and people love it, so um, What's yeah. What's the prep time? It, it actually takes a lot of prep. This one takes a long, so when we do it, we'll do like quite a few in a row because you've got to, we make the, the sauce from scratch and then you cook the mushrooms, you mm -hmm. cook the spinach, you cook the chicken, and then you layer it up. So when we do it, um, it takes as much time to do one as it would to do like 10 All to right. try well, let's, it. Let's cut into it. I know chicks want some, so let's, okay. get, let's get this going. It kind of falls under the Italian pasta mm. theme for the evening. So you said it was feta and what? What's it? Parmesan, matza, not feta, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, Parmesan cheese and matza. Mm -hmm. And it's a white uh, bechamel sauce. How many pieces here? It looks good. As long as you like spinach, onion, and mushroom. You can, you've heard about s different types of lasagnas. This one, a spinach mushroom lasagna. Looks great, smells great. Uh, I'm looking forward to tasting. You gotta, you gotta get the whole thing, everything together. Get your spinach. A bit of it. All of it. Yeah, get in there. That's so good. Oh my goodness. Very good. I'm gonna talk with my mouth though. My mouth closed with this one. Wow. You can taste the love. <laughs> well, that was food fun. If you'd like the recipes, check out our website from scratchkitchen.com and, and thanks to our sponsors from Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Prairie View and at From Scratch. And a big thanks to our special guests, Dion Amon and John Chick. Uh, I'm Matt Dominguez and we'll see you next time.